What's up everybody? I hope everybody is doing great. My name is Kevin and welcome to my channel. Today I want to teach you guys how to do the parallax effect on Premiere Pro. Before we start, I would kindly ask you guys if you want to see my videos and if you want to know when next I upload a video, I would suggest you click on the subscribe button down below and click on the bell button just so that you get a notification whenever I upload a clip. Great! So now we're going to get on to our task for today, which is creating the parallax effect. Cool. So now on our timeline, you have already selected your, your clip that you would wish to create a parallax effect on. Drag the clip down onto your timeline. Great. Let's check if this is the clip that we would wish to, to, to use. Okay, great. I'm just trying to drag it so that we can be able to have it there. Okay, great. So now, let's double click on the clip so that we can be able to change the scale. We're gonna scale it down to 70. Great, so that we can be able to see the whole margin of what we are doing. The next thing you want to do, you want to create, to, to show the safe margins so that you can know the parameters in which you are working with. If you don't know how to get this safe margin onto your, uh, your screen, click on the, on the button and then select the safe margin, then click OK. It will definitely come down here. So now the next thing you want to do is you want to drag your clip to the, towards the bottom of the screen. Just make sure it doesn't pass the middle part of your screen. Okay, the next thing you do, we want to duplicate this clip so that we can have two clips. So what you can do this in two ways. The first way is you can copy it and drop it on top. The second way is hold on to the Alt button if you're using uh, a MacBook or a Mac or hold on to the Option button if you're using a Windows computer. Then once you hold it down, just drag your clip to the top of the other one. Great. The next thing now you want to do, click on the top clip and then let's drag it to the top of our clip. Great. So now what we want to do to now is we want to rotate our top clip. So we go to rotation and rotate it at 180 degrees. We can still drag it on top so that we have that line over there. Okay, the next thing you want to do, you want to create a, a mask. So go to opacity. If it's closed, you can open it. Click on the opacity. Just click on it and then it will give you this box over here. So drag this box until you can see this line, the difference between the top and the bottom. Until you can see the line that separates both clips. Place the box in the middle and then drag and stretch the box towards the outside of your clip then drag the bottom. If you want to drag it on a straight line, I suggest you hold on to shift and then drag. Okay, great. The next thing we want to do is we want to increase our mask so that we can be able to smoothen uh, the edges. We can increase our mask further. You can hold on to it and just increase that. The other way to do that is you can just hold on to that then drag it down. Once you've done that, you are good to go. So now, after you do that, go to inverted, click on it, and then you'll be able to see your clip back up there. Okay, great. Now that we have done that, we can now comfortably scale back our clip to 100%. Right, let's see what we have done. All right, great. Now that's how you do your parallax effect. 
And if you want to make it more interesting, you can add an effect and make the bottom clip go to the opposite direction of the top clip. I'm going to show you how. Okay, you click on the top clip, right click on it, and then go to speed, click on reverse, okay. So now when we play that, it gives you an effect. One is coming in, one is going out. So let's play and see what we have just created. Great. So that is how we create the parallax effect. And I hope this was useful to you. If this tutorial was useful to you, please press like on my channel, press like on the video, subscribe if you are a new viewer, place a comment on the channel, place a comment down below and tell me exactly what you would want to see next or what you are having trouble with then I will be able to respond to the comment and be able to assist you. Thank you very much for watching. See you in my next video. Have a good day.